Okay, so today is a Monday and we're doing our final study guide before the test tomorrow. The test is tomorrow. Um, and so if you need to go back and watch these video videos again and study, that's fine. But make sure you can do these problems tomorrow. Okay, number one says the Beefy Burger restaurant uses five ounces of ketchup for every three ounces of mayonnaise to make their special sauce. At part A, create a ratio table to represent the ratio of ounces of ketchup to mayonnaise. All right, so it says five ounces of ketchup to three ounces of mayonnaise, and we just simply put that in the chart. Five ounces of ketchup to three ounces of mayonnaise, and to finish this chart, you just skip count the fives under the ketchup, five, 10, 15, 20, um, I think that's all we needed to fill in the chart for edge elastic. And then for mayonnaise, skip count by three. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay, that means if you use 20 ounces of, may of ketchup, you would put in 12 ounces of mayonnaise. And that way, that would taste the same. That would have the same flavor, the same taste as if you use five ounces of mayonnaise and three Oh, excuse me, five ounces of ketchup and three ounces of mayonnaise. It stays the same because our proportion is equivalent. So the flavor will stay the same. Now part B says, how many ounces of ketchup would beefy burgers need if they used 24 ounces of mayonnaise? So I look at this, this chart, okay? And I look at the uh, ratio of ketchup Whoops, misspelled that word. Ketchup five parts mayonnaise is three, and I can make a ratio out of those two numbers. Now, what if I want 24 ounces of mayonnaise? So I put the 24 on the bottom because mayonnaise is on the bottom. So I look at this, now I have a proportion. Now I have a proportion because I have a, um, a ratio equal to another ratio. Two equivalent ratios creates a proportion. Now, how do I get from three to 24? I multiply three times eight and that gives me 24. So whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. Five times eight is 40. That means I need 40 ounces of ketchup to go into that to make it taste the same. Okay, I will see you on question number three. Join me again, do question number two. Um, very similar to this section here of question number one. This is how you're gonna do question number two. So try that one on your own. Remember to check your answers before you go to the next one. And then I'll see you on question number three.